Enjoy. All the way since Christmas, it is summer, and welcome to season two, episode two of Wega News Summer Edition 2023. Thank you guys for coming. Now, of course, you might see the empty chair here and think I have no co-host, but that is a complete opposite. We are here for the return of the one and only. He needs help, Doctor Wuhan. Give it up for him. Mm-hmm. Give it up for him. Come on, come on. Can you, can you can? He's right there. Okay, man. I'm, all right, all right. This is going to be a big episode of We Good News, and of course we have a lot of cases of breaking news. But there are some we have to get off our chest right now of a problem in our studio. Of course, it would not be We Good News without a problem. Isn't that right? Now it is really, really hot in here because the AC has not been working for a couple of days, and the people who we call up to fix for the AC has not reached out or even came here yet or nothing. We haven't heard of anything about the air conditioning people. So that is so great, isn't that? We hope that everyone is having a great summer because we are too. It's just a little bit hot. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the first case of breaking news. Now this case of breaking news is the return, of course, the one and only small body, big head. And this time he is on We Good News again because he is in hot water for a new summer giveaway scam. Small body actually had a giveaway in NFTs. Now, of course, I don't know who actually would buy an NFT, but that is beside the point. Now, people are upset when they use their real money to buy an NFT, and all they got back was a digital picture of a monkey. Now, this money has no real value in real life, but apparently, it does for small body big head. Now, this is almost as bad as people paying eight dollars for absolutely nothing, but everyone loses today. Now, our next case of- not working. Tommy, now is not the time. I'm just trying to tell you. You're live on air. I know. You're telling me how to do shaking. You can't even do anything. No, I didn't want to get up. You can't. I didn't want to get up, Tommy. I didn't want to get up. But today I'm ready. I'm tired of this. Today I'm ready for anything that you have to say, Tommy. How about you sit back down? You can look at me. And you can say whatever you want. I'm not trying to say anything. Because last time, you said raise your pay. Yeah? Right? Pay you more money. Yeah? And guess what I did? I raised your pay one dollar, Tommy. More than I would ever do for anyone else. All right, thank you. So prove me wrong, or prove me right, and do your job. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm doing no, my- No, no more. Just do your job right, okay? Maybe stop spitting my face. Do your job right, Tommy. Put a filter on your mouth. I will use this proof to get your fucking mouth, Tommy. Yeah, close your mouth. Sorry for that little um, skedaddle, that's what you may say. We are back, of course. My name is Stanley Yelnets. We are on the next case of breaking news here. This is the pole jumping Olympics. Now this summer had some of the best watch time of the pole jumping Olympics ever. This year's big event held three contestants to try and go for the gold medal. The first contestant up was the one and only Davey McQuan. Now his form was okay, but he didn't quite hit the target. The next contestant is Eric Berwick. Of course, he's the brother of the one and only famous YouTube star, Ricky Berwick. He had the best form, but didn't jump as far. The final contestant was Bennett. He actually had an awesome form, but that actually caused a back injury that made it impossible for him to get out of the water. Let's hope the next pole jumping Olympics is as good as this one that we had this year. Now for our next case of breaking news. Oh, what oh, is that? No, nope. no, we're not doing this again. The same not thing happens as before. All right, all right. I'm putting down my pen. All I see my is red and I kill oh, people. My, what the fuck? The same thing as before. All right. Don't you move. The only weapon, I only have Stay one down. weapon, okay? I only have one weapon. You get under there. All right? I didn't push under anything, nothing's under there, okay? This is the only weapon I have, okay? I can see that, This is the only that, weapon Tommy. I have. I'm gonna put it down. Sit right down. Tommy, All I see okay, is that's, red. That's my, that's my, uh, my light crew over Say dang. Okay, say hi to Tommy, Hello, okay? Man. Hello. Say dang. He's gonna be okay. All right, he's, oh, he's gonna help you, okay? 
Um, I'm just gonna put this weapon down. Right here, okay? I'm just gonna lay it down right here, nice and slowly. Just, you know, you can see me doing it. I'm gonna put it down right there. Tommy, shoot him! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh sh. Yep. Yep, that was a gunshot. Uh huh. Yeah, we need to clean up Wiga News Studio. There's there's a dead body. Holy shit. Welcome back to Wiga News. It is me, Stanley Yelnuts. Welcome back <coughs> to Wiga News. Holy shit. This is a follow up of the weird bird incident that we had in season one. People actually sighted packs of birds swarming in different areas of the US with no known cause. Now, to clear what the birds were doing there, what was going on, everything is unclear to this point. The last time we interviewed a scientist who was experimenting on the birds before they escaped. Today we actually wanted to reach out to kind of get some more comments on the incident and see if there's any updates that we can inform you guys over We Good News. But this is where it takes a weird, dark turn. But everyone we wanted to talk to and everyone we interviewed does not exist anymore. They are just gone. Even the one person that we interviewed who actually sighted the birds from his porch Mr. Jones, there is no public records on any of these people and they just simply do not exist anymore. The main scientist, even him, he has no public records of even being alive. We have no idea what happened to them or where the birds went. We here at Wigan News believe that it is a cover up, but that is why I'm going to stop talking right now. We're going to cut it now to your guys' new fan favorite section of Wigan News, take a little break from the breaking news, and we're going to go into our daily weather report. So. Take it away, Peter. Welcome back to your daily weather report out here. You can't see anything. The wind is blowing again. Wait, let me guess. Raging Rapids closed at Kennywood, but let me guess. Yep, that's what I thought. Raging Rapids open here. Fuck Kennywood, fuck everything. Raging Rapids right there, boom, waterfall. They took it out. Nope, not my house. This is craziness out here. Send help. This is extreme. The most extreme rain can ever get. God bless us all. Welcome back to Wigan News. It's good to be back here. Thank you, Peter, for your daily weather report. Stop complaining, okay? <laughs> now we're gonna go on to our next case of breaking news, another summer case here. Many folks are contracting a very serious illness, heat stroke. Yes, that is what I said, heat stroke. People are passing out all over town, everywhere you could think of. With record highs all around the world, there's not that much that we can do, especially in this newsroom with no AC. But to stay safe, make sure you stay inside, turn on the AC. <laughs> Speaking of AC, you know, that's, oh my God. that's funny, you know, isn't that, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Come here, come here. Speaking of AC, you know, it would be pretty nice if we had AC, you know what I mean? Like, like Tommy, what? I don't care if you're the white guy, Tommy. I'm tired of it. I don't, I, I It's can't. summer, I'm tired of it, all right? Wait, Tommy, wait, 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 hold on. No, because wait, you were supposed wait, to call him. You are the one, man. You're the one who's supposed to call. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 shit, Tommy. Listen, listen, listen. Just listen to me one second. Look into my eyes. Look, man. I'm tired of your shit, Tommy. I gave you a chance. I can't. One chance. I increased your pay. I gave you a comfy chair. I even massaged the f about that, okay? Look, I did everything you said. I'm sorry, okay? Right. And no one else. I would do this to no one else. Tired of your shit. It wasn't my job. I don't care, Tommy. I don't care. I really don't. Okay, okay, man. Alright, listen. Just call the people for the AC before I lose my shit, alright? Let me get someone else to do it. Tommy, I told you to pick. You know what? I'm done. Tommy, I'm done. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! This one is for not calling the people for the AC. This one is for looking me in the eyes. And this one. It's not being happy for what you And this one is because I'm tired of shit. You see what you did? Oh my god. You made me hot when I'm not supposed to be hot. Listen here. All you little kids at home who have AC, be happy. Excuse me. My, uh, my blood pressure was a little bit high. And so was my sugar. So um, I had to take a, a little... Oof. No, no, I mean, no, not enough. No, you know what? Yeah. Don't mind Tommy over there. He, he's he's gonna get up. He's gonna be fine. But um, let's get back into what I was saying here. I, I forget. What was I saying again? Oh yeah, yeah. Stay inside. Turn on the AC. 
and lock your doors. I need to go get a drink of water because it is so hot in here. But we gotta go into today's sponsor of the video. This video is sponsored by the one and only Swiftor Dry Jet. We'll be right back after this quick message from our sponsor. Do you have dust waiting to be cleaned? Maybe dirty floors? Or blow that dust in the air with a Swifter Dry Jet? Why wet the floors when you can just blow it in the air? Get it now. <laughs> We're back. Oh, it took way longer than I expected. Oh, I'm sorry for the... For, it's just so hot in here, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Welcome back to We Good News. We're here back with the breaking news, all right? <laughs> On the next case, breaking news. We have the case of the runaway psychos. Speaking about locking your doors, a gang of psychos are loose and are causing mass hysteria in your community. And they are breaking into people's homes and they have actually murdered multiple people. Now, that is only the reported amount of people that you see right there on your screen. And there have been, there might be other people, police, that have already been killed. We just don't have the numbers yet. People are saying that the murder was actually targeted and not just a random act of violence. Now there's actually no 100% proof that it's targeted, but people witness the group going into certain homes, not just going into random homes, killing random people. And that's why we believe that it is a targeted attack of these criminals. So make sure you definitely close your windows and lock your doors tonight when you go to sleep. Tommy, man. I don't know how long I can be doing this. We gotta finish up, man. We gotta finish up. Now, the gang of psychos here, transitioning into our next case. That is not the only threat that may be a concern to you. Now, out there, there is a killer, a serial killer nicknamed The Painter. This man or thing targets people and paints their death with no remorse. But we have to warn you right now, if you do dig deep enough in this case, you're gonna find the details are really, really gruesome. The police have actually been on his tail recently, so let's hope that they catch this guy and get him off the street now. Because there have been multiple victims of this man himself. There was a group killing people, and then this man is working alone. We're in a duo of two people. Now, we, we're not sure how many people he killed to be exact, but it is above 10 to 15 at this point. But we really do have to pray for the victims and pray that the police bring this monster down now. Also, we want to show you a few paintings here. So you can't skip through this. They're kind of unsettling. So we just have to warn you right now, but we're gonna show a couple paintings. So that right there, we're just gonna leave that that. That's a couple paintings there, just so you know what we're talking about with the paintings. Now, if you see any of these paintings with your own eyes, you see it with your own eyes, you see it there in your house, something, or you know the people in, this, in the paintings, or if you know someone with that name, please contact the police, please contact that person and maybe they can get with a group and stay with them together because that is gonna be the only way. But he, that is not gonna stop him. He will still attack if you are in a group. He does not care at this point. But if you do know anyone who's depicted in the paintings, please call the police now. Ugh. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Let's finish up. Okay, I'll, yeah, let's, fin let's, let's finish up here. Now there was one more case. That was actually about goo goo juice, but we're gonna have to leave that for next time. We're gonna be having another week of news, hopefully for the Halloween edition 2023. We gotta finish up here, it is so, so freaking hot in here. But we hope that you enjoyed week good news, and I hope that we get our, our, our AC fixed. How are you not sweating? How are you not hot? We hope that you have a good summer. You had a good summer, it's coming to a close. Fall is on the horizon, we all know, you know, we all love fall. We hope that your summer has been really eventful and if it hasn't you know there's still time to do what you can but good thing you watch we good news you're here thank you guys we're happy that we're back on the channel we've been re renewed for at least five more seasons so that is really good that that, that is all that that's all uh, the cases of breaking news that we can do today but yes thank you guys for watching we good news it is me stanley yell nuts this <coughs> This, you gotta. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the week of news. <coughs> have to, uh, have to, Yeah. <laughs> 